Professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. <clears throat> Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig, well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, justly, and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! I can't believe we lost Fig. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Glad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. I... realize the same should be done for my uncle. I hope Anne agrees to see me. Sebastian, I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I... I'll let you know. Sebastian, there's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. It was the Loyalists. It's always been them. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. And she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. As for what happened in the catacomb, I've not stopped thinking about it. Perhaps we could meet soon. There's much I wish to say.
Revelio. Oh my blood, my mother says. Seems that's off limits to me. Handy resource Rebellion. indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. This Dedalian Keys Challenge is coming along nicely. Rebellion. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline, Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. I imagine the best. Side in the bell tower. Rebellion.
She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. Revelio. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in. Sebastian. Did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, and I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous? What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health. Now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. I can't believe we found ourselves trapped in that scriptorium. Never again. I've thought about what you told me in the Great Hall. I would like to speak with you. Meet me in the Undercroft as soon as you can. I'm glad you came. Sebastian, I've received your owl. What's happened? Ominous spoke with Anne about what happened with my Uncle Solomon. She believes I should pay for what I did, but she won't turn me in. She said the guilt I'll have to live with is punishment enough. I'm so sorry. 
But I'm glad you know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is, I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. Anne may just need some time. Surely one day she'll be able to forgive you. I hope you're right. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Well, it wasn't easy, but I believe in you, Sebastian. I've had a sense about you since that first day in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Seems so long ago. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Protego! Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Graphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even took it upon yourself to help Professor Black's house elf. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Oni. I think her mother shares the sentiment. While I do not condone taking matters into your own hands when it comes to men like Rookwood and Harlow, your bravery is to be commended. Thank you, Professor. I... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Thank you. 
wonder if they can hear us down here. Someone's here. Probably works at Green Gun. Thank <laughs> you. 
mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. Oh, heads of lettuce, <laughs> mushrooms were. about some sightseeing. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Hallow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Hallow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Keep an eye out. Hollow is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Rebecca, where is he? I do not know. We should look around. Crazy. Uh -huh. Sionai, in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. 
<laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I Rebellion. feel fine. And it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. But it's always so noisy. Revelio. So I end up just talking to them. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days, but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well, You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh, my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts. Everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. 
It is always good to see you. Rebellion.